Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So here we have our Armor Vortex. As you know, we last did our 17 millimeter hub extend uh, hub upgrade as well as put on Proline Trencher tires. So this will be the first time doing a run. So stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hey gang, so welcome back. So I'm going to put in my LiPo battery here. Um, the last time we um, did some upgrades on this, we did put on these 17 millimeter hubs. Uh, we got these nice beefy tires. These are the Proline Trencher tires. Um, I did a few more upgrades today, uh, this morning. Um, I actually had a metal spur gear, the Armour spur gear. I'll put that part number in the um, description box, but um wanted to put a metal spur gear and also wanted to put in a robinson 20 t um, hardened steel pinion because we are running on a 6s electronic system uh, i'm typically going to run this mostly on 4s but uh, just to be sure that everything you know won't wear out as quickly um, i did put in some hardened steel gears in there um, with the spur gear and um, a new slipper clutch and um, also that again that Robinson 20T pinion so uh, I'm gonna put in my um, battery here uh, the battery we're gonna use today is just a smaller Electron Pro um, 5200 four cell battery and um, we kinda, I kinda like this I mean Hawaii we can't get too many choices of LiPo batteries so uh, Electron Pro is one of those that we have locally here at our local hobby shops um, they're pretty decent. Um, I do have some other battery packs. I have my Spectrum and everything, but just decided to run the Electron Pros for today. So we'll just take this out and see what kind of speeds that we can get with the um, Electron Pros. Okay, so let me see and make sure everything's situated here. I did double check my, um, my mesh, and um, I think I might have had it a little bit too tight. So... I don't know if you've been watching or been been on my Instagram, but the last time I took this out, um, I got a top speed of about 40, 41 or 49 miles an hour, which is, it was on 4S, but it was kind of slow, but I'm a remote. I actually had it set on 75%, so I'm going to set mine up to uh, 100 just to make sure. So I think the last time I took this out, I set it up to 75 because I was kind of like bashing at the... Um, the skate park if you watch that video and <laughs> we broke the uh the servo saver in there i was running the um uh, hot racing servo saver and when i jumped one of the the ramps there at the skate park i ran into the fence and that actually loosened and broke the the uh the uh, servo saver so i tried out um putting See, what did I do? I did buy a spare. Let me turn this down. I did buy another uh, hot racing um, servo saver, but um, I just didn't want to, you know, keep fixing it if that's going to be a problem. So what I did do is get a um, 25T um, arm, metal arm, and I put that on my JX Boost or JX Eco uh, servo and put it back in. I did put the stock servo on and I didn't like it, it was kind of slow. I did have a power HD servo and I didn't like it, it was kind of slow. So I got kind of used to this um, um, JX uh, Eco server and I really like it a lot. So when I took apart that last one or the original servo, it, there was something wrong with that too. So I had to toss that and luckily I had another one. So, so let's run this and see what we get, see what kind of speed. So here we are with the Armor Vortex. Uh, we're gonna do some tests today. I'm just gonna check out everything, make sure the steering is okay, and then see if it tracks straight, and then we'll see how these tires are. So it's been a while since I've taken this out. Again, um, like I said, this morning I did uh, do some things with that hardened uh, spur, the, um, the metal spur gear, and putting in that Robinson uh, uh, hardened pinion 20t pinion so we're still running the 20t pinion and then i just want to check that everything's okay you are at 100 percent here i want to see if it tracks straight and uh, 
see the behavior of these trencher tires to see what kind of uh, uh, behavior it has so as you can see it's already i'm gonna you know what, i'm gonna turn my abc just a little bit of that because i already saw that it wanted to almost flip over so that's one thing with these trencher tires is that the um, tread is really aggressive really blocky which is good for which is good for um, dirt and grass but uh, for asphalt it's not as forgiving so it won't slide like the stock Katar tires so again I mentioned that um, I did have these tires of the trenches for my mini Revo and that flipped a lot it flipped over a lot in turns so I just use it for mostly bashing. I don't take it on the dirt because that mini e Revo is so small. It can't really handle the grass. So I put in the Talon tires back on. But let's see how it is on with these um, with this Armor Vortex. And then let's do another speed run. So it's a short, as you can see, it's a short um, area here. So I just want to see how fast I can get it to go. <laughs> it's i mean this thing is quick already let's see what kind of speed that we got so we got 48 miles an hour 48 and a half so i'm gonna turn up my avc up a little bit more see if i can get a little bit more control so that's the one thing with this jx ecoboost is that it really is uh very sensitive and you know just a little bit of um turning it just wants to move Whoa, oh, you see that almost, <laughs> yeah, I pretty much almost destroyed my car, I almost hit my truck, this is my truck here, so Let's see what kind of speeds that we got with this, so we got 46.6, so I'm pretty sure we're on a slight incline, so I'm pretty sure we can get 50 miles an hour, um, if we actually have a long straightaway, pretty sure we can get you know over 60 miles an hour but that's one thing with this I'm not sure what I'm gonna do um, with this servo because it is I mean it's good for bashing but for top speed runs it's just so hard to control and um, I'm not sure if it's the street too because like if I center my servo as you can see here it doesn't it'll track straight but because it's sort of like um, on this road that's paved road and it's not even it kind of wants to drift one way or the other so it'll go straight you can see it's going straight and sorry about the wind it's a nice windy day it's a nice day in hawaii today guys but you can see it's going straight and then all of a sudden this wants to turn so let's see if i can back up a little here let's do another run Okay, <laughs> we're getting wheelies on this. Uh, let's end that for here. I mean, I'm done with the, uh, with the speed runs. I think I'm happy enough. We know how fast this can get. I just want to see how, how good this is with the trencher tires. So I'm going to turn off my, um, my GPS. Oh, and I think some of you guys are asking where I got this from. Uh, this is a Malin GPS. Um, uh, unit that you can get off Amazon and I think most most people use this for like um, for biking whether on the road uh, um, or cycling and I got this off of Amazon so it's a pretty good price it's not too expensive so this is where I got my GPS from but, but so far with these tires oh there you, you saw it it almost flipped over <laughs> so as you can tell it does want to almost flip over so you really got to watch uh, your speed while turning because this will want to turn over so I'm not sure if um, maybe modifying shock oil or doing any suspension changes will help that but oh right. <laughs> you saw that there but I think the uh, the spur gear is all good the mesh is all good seems really smooth and everything um, I did buy some diff fluid over the weekend today is Monday so I'm gonna check uh, the next thing is my diff fluid um, I'm not sure what it uses stock I think that the uh, Creighton 4s uses like 10,000 from anywhere 
So I think I bought 10,000 and I might have 15,000. So I'm gonna try 15,000 from in here. Um, they said you can use uh, anything up front, but on the rear, you don't wanna go more than 30. So I'll try 15,000 front and rear, see how that is. Cause I really don't know if it's been topped off from the, the factory stock. But uh, we'll see how the dip is. I kind of like doing this here. I don't have too much of the space. But really, uh, really peppy on 4S. Again, this is only a 50C like old battery. I'm sure with 100, 100C, we'll get more pep. I do have the um, CNHL G Pluses. And those will get more bite but so far you know with that 17 millimeter hub you, you won't get too much uh, options on tires yet um, there are the badlands there's this and there's some dirt track tires you can get on for off-roading but um, hopefully they'll come up for more <laughs> but um, i remarked the difference from the last time i took this out and again it's probably because i only had it 75 percent and I can imagine going back on 6S on this. And so far I haven't had any problems. I know a lot of you guys have been worrying about the um, heat problems and maybe the axles breaking, but I took in this, I've taken this out a few times already, at least six to eight times um, on the 6S system. And I haven't had any problems with axles breaking, but we'll see how, how long that'll last. Um, I'll just probably keep buying plastic ones until I see that there'll be some kind of problem with that. But so far, so far no problems. So you can see it almost flipped over again. So you just gotta watch your turns. I did turn up my ABC a little bit, so. But I'm sure on grass, I guess we'll take this out onto uh, Kanye District Park again or Kualoa Beach Park. And then we'll see how it is. But as you can see, I mean, this, this has a lot of grip. The tires have a lot of grip. It just wants to, yeah, it just wants to bite and take off. So, I mean, we'll, we'll worry about reliability and um, uh, longevity of parts. If anything, we'll see if this will last longer than the out, uh, what is that, the Creighton 4S that I had. So I guess another problem with the uh, 3S or 4S would be the diff covers. Um, because they are plastic, um, people have problems with the input gears stripping or breaking because of the contortion of the uh, plastic diff gears. Oh, I'm sorry, the plastic housing for the diff. So as you know, if you watch my other video on the uh, Outcast 4S, we put in um, hot racing on metal aluminum on the rear and I've been, I've been liking that a lot. So we might do the same with this. This seems to be one of the uh, vehicles I've been modding a lot. Um, aside from my, uh, my Haas, which I've gone all aluminum, um, we seem to be uh, modifying this car a lot because it seems to be like the all-in-one vehicle for me. I can just take anywhere and it's small. So. <laughs> And just like how the uh, Senton for uh, Senton 3S is that I bought from my daughters, they've been playing with that. Um, parts are not too expensive, so. Oh, tumble. <laughs> so that's, there is an example of this being careful on the uh, asphalt. So this asphalt is, you know, there's some smooth patches and there's some rough patches. So when these tires do catch, they'll flip like that. And then it looks like I already did some damage to my servo, so uh, that's a problem. You know what? I wonder if I am running my servo saver again on this. Oh, I think I'm running my JX EcoBoost, so I'm not sure why. I mean, I have this problem when I hit something or break something, I get no steering. So I guess we end it for here for today. I'll post up my Insta channel or Instagram and see what's wrong with the uh, 
with the uh, steering. Maybe a screw just came out or whatnot. So gang, that's it for this video. This video had to cut it short. We got no steering. Made a crash, and I gotta figure out the steering issues. If if not, I'm just gonna you know send it back to the original Arma servo because no matter how many times I've been putting on the upgraded servos, because it is a 25T and not a 23T, um, I'm running to issues that when I do crash, I have no steering. So this is the second time we had this problem. Okay guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. All right. Okay guys, uh, went back into the house, brought out my Creighton 4S. Uh, we still got a lot of battery left and power, so I want to take this out. Uh, I got my backflips on here, backflip LPs, took out the Minakawas. So we'll see how this one is. Okay guys, let's see how this is on the back foot. So remarkable difference already. <laughs> it's just not as quick as the uh, Vortex, so. But at least it'll, maybe it beats, it's a little bit more reliable. <laughs> uh, the servo on here is the uh, Power HD servo that I originally had on the Vortex. Just thought it wasn't quick enough, so. We'll see how durable this is. Now, I don't remember the if this one was a 25T or 23T. Uh, the Vortex is the only one that I remember whoa, um, being like a 23T. So I'm not sure if, why Arma would have done that. I mean, if everything was 25T, because I believe I put the um, JX EcoBoost in my infraction and felony and never ever uh, had to think about a 23T arm or servo saver so, um, so just to give you an update on this vehicle I bought this used um, you watch my video on it give you the details it came with this GT5 remote which I like a lot I switched over to a lipo battery uh, it's a 2S cell and uh, it already has the plug for it so I just had to plug it in so I really like this setup a lot this remote is really light but um, I took this out maybe on the second try at uh, Kualoa Park and it broke the input gear on the rear on the rear uh, diff so that ended my day so watch that video for the hot racing uh, all aluminum rear diff so this is it's been nice taking this out a few times I uh, did a comparison with this and uh, the Max and the Haas so watch that video I think it was the Max and the Haas because it was running on 4S. So I know maybe it was just the Haas. Oh, uh, the Max. And it ran really well. And I was running the Minakawas at the time. Not these backflips. Because I think when I put the backflips on the first time, um, I think that's it might have stripped the gears on the rear diff. Because there was just so much traction. I think that's what might have eventually broken. Because these uh, backflip LPs do have a lot of grip. But... I've been liking uh, recently the smaller 3S and 4S uh, armors. My favorite uh, 6S or larger vehicle is going to be the uh, felony, uh, not the felony, but the infraction for drifting and my uh, Mojave. Now uh, the Mojave, I put like an all uh, hobby wing uh, electronic system. So I got our Max 6 in there with the uh, uh, 1650 motor in there. And I'm really happy with that. And then with my infraction, as you know, uh, stock electronics, it just got a bunch of fans. And I've uh, been putting on, the last video I did is just uh, felony tires, rear tires on all fours and drifting with that. So yeah, yeah, this, this Creighton is fun. I mean, it's hard to tell, because we're not at a, I can't really bash this. There's no place to, to jump, but um, it's the main reason why I got the uh, Creighton instead of the Outcast. Um, I did have the Outcast 4S, but I just didn't like that. It kept uh, doing backflips and, and um, wheelies all the time. I'd rather have something that I can jump like this Creighton. So that's why I picked up this Creighton 4S. And also because um, it was a good deal.
Now, I'm not sure if this has AVC. Uh, with this remote, it's a little bit different for me. There's one, two, three, so I gotta double check. <laughs> That's something I should really know about my RC vehicles because it doesn't seem to turn so much. So, looks like I'm on right. I gotta adjust the uh, maybe the endpoint on it because if you see my turn right, let me bring it closer. When I turn right, it doesn't want to turn as much as it does left, or maybe it's just my imagination. But I think I have ending uh, endpoints set up on this. But it could be that I'm just spoiled by that JX EcoBoost uh, speed of that servo. So I don't have my speedometer on this, but uh, it's definitely not as quick as the uh, Vortex. <laughs> but definitely just as fun. <laughs> So I hope you like this extra video that I attached to the uh, Vortex video. It does really just fine. I did upgrade or I did uh, change the fluid on this. I'm, I think I'm running uh, 15K. No, I think I'm running all 10K on this for the front and rear diff. I did refresh the fluids on this, so uh, that's it. So I hope you like this video, guys. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Check out my Instagram, check out the pictures that I have posted daily and seeing what's up and what's new that I'm doing for the day. So, all right guys, thanks a lot for watching again. We'll see you soon, bye.